Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the world here making some five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. Today we're taking a look at a dish that has brought me so much grief in the campaign. And if I'm honest, it's also brought me a lot of grief here. It's the duck broth soup. So this episode, since we struggled so much in the campaign, we'd get like random white dishes, a soup, or it's just say a mixture. It wouldn't even say a soup. Like it'd be all sorts of weirdness that went on. Uh, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it and find out how exactly you make the five star dish. That way you guys don't have to struggle like I did. So let's follow the directions exactly as it goes. We do 1.3 liters of water. We need 10 grams of salt. Then 10 grams of pepper. And I'm following this in order. So, um, and I'll explain my reasoning in a bit. We want to put the two duck breasts in. Want to put then the carrot and then the onion. So I'm doing it this way. All right, let me also, this needs to boil for 80 seconds. I actually set a stopwatch just to measure it on the side. I'm usually interested in what the duck breast is doing temperature wise, what the carrot and onion, and where everything ends up being in 80 seconds. See which one is overcooked and which one's not. Uh, from my testing so far, I found that the duck breast is the determinant of the uh, end time of the dish. So we are at 35 seconds. As you can see, we're getting close to the halfway point on the duck breast. The onion does end up overcooking in this dish. I don't know if we're supposed to pull it out early. I found in my testing that doesn't matter. So we're just going to leave it as is. The directions don't say to pull anything out. So we're not pulling out, folks. That's what she said. And we're at the minute mark, just another 20 seconds to go. The 80 second mark usually lines up with the duck breast just finishing all the way going green. It doesn't need the red bar around it. The red bar means it's overcooking, as you can see with the onion. And we are two, one, off. That is 80 seconds. As you can see, the duck breast is finished. Yeah, that one has a little bit of the red around it. Same with that. So let's go ahead and cut this up. Now, in all honesty, I've done this several times already because I keep having random issues making this where I don't get the full five stars. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So when I cut, I end up looking for the center and going up just a little bit because the duck breast itself has a slope to it where the one side is thicker than the other. Let's take a look at those pieces. So we have a 32, a 22, a 38. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the bottom piece too, just so we can try to get as many decent looking pieces as we can. We also want to ladle in the soup. I didn't need to take the onion out. Nope, nope. I just want to dump it out. Oh, I'm making a mess of this already. Take the onion. The onion goes back. All right, there we go. So we'll ladle out the broth. It does have the good brown color. It isn't a white mixture as we've seen in my campaign. If you've watched through some of those episodes, if you haven't, it it is fun. It is um, chaotic, but you like that kind of chaos. Why don't you join? Check it out. There's 32, 38's close. Uh, 27 is close. I'm gonna cut this piece. And we're just gonna take the tip off. I don't think it liked that. I don't think it liked it at all. Let's shave off, ooh, boy. 
I'm gonna cut myself here. Yeah, it didn't take anything off the tip. See, this game is already hating me. Let's see, did that work? It's not letting me cut that anymore. Well, I guess we're throwing in the 26 and seeing if they give us an issue. Will we get five stars this time? We certainly have. Look at that. So did they complain any? No, they didn't complain. So that's interesting. So with the duck breast, you can vary a little bit with those cuts. It isn't the end of the world. Like I was concerned with that 26 gram piece, they'd give us an issue with, you know, not the right size pieces, things like that. Um, so from the testing, uh, something I wanted to know, let me pull up that uh, menu again. Or the recipe, I should say, not the menu. I said I was gonna explain the order so I think the order in what you add to the pot matters. So for example, I've done some testing where, you know, I just throw the, the components in the pot and let it boil. And what I found is a lot of the times I'd end up stacking it. You see, can I take that onion out? Nope. Give me the onion. I want the carrot. So normally I'd fill it with water. I'd go ahead and grab the carrot, grab the onion, grab the duck breast, uh, grab the other duck breast. And what would happen is, you see how that last piece is sticking up over the soup? It would stack in such a way where one duck breast would cook and one wouldn't cook. And what, what would end up happening was to get the meter all the way up like that, it would actually end up overcooking the carrot too. So that's where you found all the weird issues where you get the mixture, you get the white color, you get the low stars. Follow the order, put the salt, the pepper, the duck breast goes in next because that when we put them in both at the same time, they're both under the water and that's what's important. So hopefully this helps you when you go through and start playing Cooking Simulator. It's these kind of tips and tricks that they really don't explain early on, like the you know what the 80 seconds relates to, uh, what the red bar around these things means. And that's important. All these things matter. So thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.